We've talked about Cali Muscle before a ton of times on this channel and his antics. He did a crypto rug pull where he stole thousands of dollars from innocent people who believed that he would make them money. He's done a lot of other weird shit recently, like claim natural, even though he's also claimed he's on TRT, even though he also claimed that he's never taken anything, as well as being on watermelon, eating just a lot of watermelon and talking about that that is the way forward, as going as far as saying that you shouldn't drink water and you should only drink a very specific type of water that is quite expensive. With his Instagram bio politely saying helping men find their way out of the matrix, he seems to have the keys that we all lack. Or at least that's what he would like you to think, because lately, he's been on another whole thing. Another whole thing that I honestly, I knew about this surgery that he got before he got it. Like, I knew this was an existing thing and that people did it out there. I just didn't realize that someone would actually go do it, because the risks implied are pretty great. Now, before I tell you what the surgery is, let me talk about the risks. We're talking about blindness. We're talking about color blindness. We're talking about having ink leak into your eyes and impairing your vision for the rest of your life. We're talking about creating astigmatisms within your eye from doing this surgery. And we all know Cali Muscle as a grifter, someone who does what he can on the internet to gain fame and attention. So he posts weird content all the time talking about crazy radical stuff just to get into the algorithm a little bit more than he did last time, trying to make that ad revenue last as long as he possibly can get it to last. But there has been a new development. My brother has blue eyes, and he just made this post as of... 43 minutes ago. It's crazy. I cannot actually believe this man changed his eye color. And these aren't just contacts. He got surgery to replace his eye color. It's a prosthetic iris that he had inserted into his eye. It looks good. I'll tell, I'll tell him that it looks good, but I don't think it's appreciated. Like I realized that, and if you've realized, right, hopefully by now, if you've been following Cali Muscle for any period of time, that he does these things to gain attention. Some might say, hey man, you do you, I'm proud of you for living your life. That's not what Cali does. He doesn't do him. He does what the audience wants, or at least what's gonna get him into the algorithm. And I guarantee you, because he was starting to slip, this was his mode into becoming relevant again. And Cali went as far as posting an entire YouTube video about the exact things that he did. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty fucking wild. You see me in the supercar. Since a little kid, I knew I was a star. NYC, man. To get it done. Y'all see him now. Look at him. You won't be seeing him no more. So, yeah. So, today uh, is a consultation. And then uh, tomorrow, Thursday, is the actual procedure. So, I'm excited and nervous at the same time you know mess with them eyes man something else but uh, i did all my research the doctor's supposed to be good see the airplane back there hold up so you're telling me this man just put on a whole intro for this entire video where he's saying you're jealous because you saw me in a supercar and he's flying spirit and he's about to go pay fifteen thousand dollars for some really risky surgery to change his eye color and he's flying spirit i mean look i'm not gonna judge a man for flying whatever fucking airline he wants cool by me do your thing at the end of the day if he really does have this much money and if he's really getting men out of the matrix i think like the most <laughs> not matrix maxing thing you could do is flying spirit <laughs> airlines i don't know i wonder how much he paid for his carry-on bag that day They said I'm good to go. So tomorrow at 2.30, it's zoning cracking. Y'all go see some, uh-oh, they dilated, huh? Cause, yeah, they weird right now. They put some drops in them. Maybe some pineapple. I haven't had pineapple in a while. Hold up, he's breaking the watermelon fast, bro? He's, he's breaking the watermelon fast for some pineapple? This has got to be fake. This is fake. He's, a, he's an industry plant. There's no way that this isn't an industry plant, dude. We all know Cali only eats watermelon. We don't need much, man. I don't need to eat that much, man. Oh, let me see if they got the quinoa thing. <laughs> this is what I'm getting. Gray's pineapple and four of Mountain Valley water. <laughs> it's Mountain Valley water. You bet your ass he's got that shit in the cart. Oh, my God. I'm probably going to have to go grocery shopping in the morning. I made it to my hotel room and... Uh... <laughs> Uh, kind of embarrassed, man. Like a 1980 room up in here. <laughs> hey, but hey, 
it is what it is. I'm not here for the room. Look at that bed. That's a nice. Look. So just oh man just just get me straight with this okay you're telling me this individual all right he's going to get his iris in done which is a very expensive surgery highly invasive fifteen thousand dollars he has supercars he is apparently really wealthy has done a crypto rug pull on people so he's taking their money and he is staying at a holiday in ass hotel and again i want to be very clear here i'm not judging like if you do your thing do it but you have to remember this is a guy he's claiming he has in his bio that he's helping men get out of the matrix that he's also very independent wealthy and capable and that he has a lot of money to throw around on things like supercars but he's staying at like <laughs> that's something else that's something else king i don't know look at that design on the room come on that's nice 1990s that but yeah so now i'm just about to do some work editing and uh get ready for to tomorrow the big day but to go in here in Toronto, maybe listen, it's your, it's your. <laughs> what was that edit? What was that edit, dude? Come on, man. In Toronto, maybe listen. It's oh your, my it's God! Your... It just homies using CapCut. The last time y'all see these. How much money? Yeah, look at that. They never seen a man look like this before. <laughs> yeah, <that's a> good <laughs> All because of Dr. M, man. Y'all better come get yours done today. Keep that punch. Yeah, come get them done, Dr. M, man. That man got the hands you know, of God. We gotta be in the done. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, look like a whole new person, bro. So don't don't don't, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous, man. <laughs> Woo! Took it to a whole nother level, man. A sexiness. You know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all again the sexiness. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come, come on, bro. Don't be jealous, bro. I'm just saying, though, in the, you know what I mean? It's time to step it up, man. When you got to step it up, you got to step it up, man. You know what I mean? Don't be scared in life to step it up. Do different things. Try different things. Did he really use his surgery as an example of good human values? Like seriously? We out here in New York right now, baby. Yeah, New York, baby. Let's go, man. I'm back, guys. <laughs> uh, it only been about a couple of hours. So my vision's still blurry because I got no content. The whole transition, man. The whole transition. New York, baby, and then straight to the Hotel Six or whatever the fuck he's at. That's crazy. He's really living it up in New York, man. That's crazy. Good for him. They got a covering over my eyes, but man, they look so good. Look so good. What that doesn't sound like watermelon he's chewing on to me. I don't know. Y'all want to get y'all done? I'll give you the hookup. With it, guys. So day two, man. Uh, about to go get my checkup. Then for my checkup, I'm going to the airport if everything checks out right, right? Uh, feel good. Look, I don't need to show you this guy anymore. For me, what I think this all is, is a publicity stunt. We've talked about this before. He does this thing very regularly where he has just really weird moments that he does weird things to gain virality in any kind of sense that he can just to push then later something else. For instance, that video I was showing you that he posted just 40 minutes ago after getting this surgery done, right? So he made a couple of reels about it. It got really viral. And then what is he posting about already? POV made over $700 or $700 on TikTok. And then he's saying, comment TikTok if you want to get the hack that I use. And then we got here, comment income and I'll send you information to guide you to making a nice passive income utilizing social media. Don't procrastinate on this amazing opportunity. Brother, he's using it as a an influx to a new audience that's all it is he's using it to get into the algorithm and then publish content to that algorithm it's a cla it's serious marketing right this is what every influencer does if, if you've ever been aware as soon as they have any kind of piece of content that goes viral they'll then post some sort of promotion material some sort of marketing material that seems very low cost to almost free which is something like this where you comment income someone's going to send you a dm it's either a dmer or many chats which is just an automated dm system and then they're going to put you into the funnel from 
there, they're gonna contact you, offer you coaching services or something that he's selling, and wabang, right? He makes a couple hundred bucks off a guy who doesn't know any better. Keep in mind, just a few months ago, this man rug pulled thousands of people. I don't know, thousands. I don't think thousands of people invested into his cryptocurrency, but he rug pulled them. Wild, wild times to be alive. Wild times to be alive, guys. I don't even, I don't even know. It is what it is. It is what it is. Good job, Callie. Staying true to your something. Not character. I wouldn't say virtues. Not respects, but something. If you guys enjoyed this video, like and comment down below. It does me a huge favor in pushing this video into the algorithm. But if you want to help out this channel even more, you can simply sign up to our private Discord group. I'm not going to tell you how to escape the matrix, but I will show you along with many other coaches how to get jacked, get more fits, and talk about really anything relative to your health and fitness. Click the landing page down below to learn more.